Thank you, Senator Rounds. Uh, for our next rounds, round of questions, I would ask that uh, we just ask one question since we have a second panel coming up. Uh, Mr. McConnell, you're getting a work over today. Uh, can you provide us with an update on, uh, no, I want to ask you this one. How, uh, how are you working to ensure that Los Alamos can meet the demand for pits until Savannah River can do that rate production? Thank you, Senator. As I indicated, we've, we've hit a major milestone in producing the first diamond-stamped war reserve W87-1 pit at Los Alamos in, in October of last year. We are now actively working on the project which will allow us to achieve rate production of at least 30 pits per year at Los Alamos. We call it 30 base. That project is executing right now to deliver uh, approximately 2028. And then we will follow up with additional work to improve the reliability of our ability to deliver. So a, re a more reliable production rate at, at 30 pits per year, which will take us into the early 2030s. What that work means specifically is we need to move old equipment out of the space to create D&D, &D we call it, so it's a, another thing that EM does quite a lot of. In order to create white space, so that we can then move new work spaces, new glove boxes and capabilities in. Are you speaking um, specifically about Los Alamos Yes, here? That's, that, all of that happens in, in and PF4. And how that ties in then to uh, what happens at Spanner River. All right, so, so by 2028, we get to the 30 pit per right. year capability at Los Alamos. In parallel, at Savannah River, at the Savannah River Plutonium Production Facility, SRPPF, as I indicated, we're working to mature the design to get to 90% design in calendar year 2026, which will then allow us to move on to, to uh, construction and production of the plant by 2032 to get to, rate, to get to initial production and then rate production of at least 50 pits per year at Savannah River in that time frame. Thank you. Senator King. Mr. Gerald, I'm, I'm going to give you a question for the record, so it doesn't count as my one question. Uh, if you could give, supply the committee with some an analysis of your staffing levels. I know you've lost some key people at Hanford, uh, but the, for the record, not, not now, but if you could give me some background on that. Uh, Admiral, my question is, are you, is, is Naval Reactors on track with the Columbia construction project? In other words, when the submarines are ready, will the, react, will the new reactors be ready? Um, Senator King, absolutely. My reactor for District of Columbia is ready. It's just waiting to be shipped when Electric Boat wants it. We don't ship it early just due to security requirements. Of course. And the second uh, reactor core is 75% complete now. We, we don't have issues with uh, that. Our heavy plant equipment um, has been, um, we are on schedule to meet required in yard dates, so that's steam generators, pressurizers, reactor coolant pumps. Um, our largest component, which I've mentioned before, that had the most concern for us was uh, the turbine generator. That poor turbine generator is an electric boat right now. It's being outfitted, completely tested. Starboard turbine generator has been uh, tested and is being packaged for shipment from the vendor across country, and it is not the critical path on uh, delivery of District of Columbia. So we are within the time frame on that. Senator Rounds. Okay. With that, I would like to thank our first panel for being here today and providing us with information. You may get other questions for the record, and I would ask that you return those within two weeks. Thank you.